lane with Dowdy, and it worked out for them in the end. Mm -hmm. Ozone lane A1, summoner spill advantage. Diamond is going to come into the middle. Dandy off to the side from this one as Diamond gets locked up. There's a knock up coming in on towards Alex Hitch. Have they got the damage to finish this one off? Diamond is there going slow. There are the flashes over. Can they finish this one off? Dandy actually taking a lot Ooh. of damage as well. Alex coming back in, but first one goes down in the end to Diamond. But Alex will finish off, and it will be a two for one for Gambit. Resources. He's not losing out on too many minions of his own for going for that one. There's actually more action in mid lane, though. Well, Dane yeah. is dead. That's yeah. not good news for him. And Ping Wolves, let's watch that one here again. Listen, this is a level 6 Diamond and a level 6 Alex Cheech against a push. I up here. This could actually be a little bit dangerous for them. Turns out not dangerous at all. And Keep his farm down. That's the tricky thing about Rise, is you see them die so much, but if they're farming, it's good. Oh, my Look at this. Wow, that was a terrible miscalculation. Point is cut. Couple of deep wards down there. Is the Ooh. miss actually coming out They're from the anyway. job? They don't care. They're going down for this one. There is Darian coming in. Misses a taunt, but he'll get the kill anyway. Now he's locked up perfectly between the turrets here fighting against Andy. Looper and Mata are coming in though. This is going to be an extended fight, and Darian is in a lot of trouble. Let's see how good Darian's ninja skills really are. He waits in from this one. Ward gets put over the side. Way. Darian will go in, and there is Imp, and they don't want to give these kills over to Ward. Bottom side, you see they gain that pink ward control. Imp is low. And Imp is in all kinds of trouble here. Stranglethorn's gonna go down. Will it be able to escape this one? He's actually burning here as Looper comes down. There is Dandy as well. Now it's Genka that's in trouble. He will fall. There's a kill on Savoidal. And now Diamond trying to get away. Flashes out of the Cataclysm. But Looper is charging in after him. Decides not to keep going without. And for Alex, though, without counterattacks coming, it would be good. Diamond gets spotted. Yep, spotted there by that pink ward. Actually, he's going to go in here on towards Matter. Are they going to be able to get Shen involved in this one? Stan United coming down. Strangle Thorns will stop it, but here comes Alex from the side. Matter blown to pieces, and Gambit forced them away. Should be able to finally get finished off here. First turret of the game for Gambit. These guys are trading a lot back and forth with his Deathfire Grasp even with the defensive build from Dade, but Voidal can't get caught like that. Here's a fight. Got the crescendo down from this one. Stranglethorn's coming in. Voidal going so very, very low. Looper has teleported down as well. But look at him taking so much damage. We'll have to use the barrier. Cataclysm goes down. Darian going to charge on through. Here comes Diamond and Dead Genja. They've managed to get the slow down. Looper charging on the way back towards his turret with that ult for Gambit going down in that bottom lane. 20 minutes. 50 seconds on. Zone might look to fight this one as the turret's going very low. Gambit initiate. There is a throw of Alex Hitch back in. He will just spirit rush straight back out as the crescendo comes down. Loop below. Dandy's already dead. Talk from Darian. They're not finished. Mata, he's going to get finished off. He's now Imp and Dade to save this fight for them. Diamond comes around the side. Imp still charging on down onto him. Is he able to get him? Yes. Of the Ozone jungle, but. Do they dare start it off at this point? There is the burst coming down on towards Mata. Stan United going to get involved. Are they going to go for this one? They're managing to force them away. They are going to go for the fight. Crescendo comes through. Darian knocked up by the strangle force as Looper gets involved as well. But look at Ozo. They're one by one being taken down. Imp got into the middle of them. They need to lock him out of this one. He will be finished off. It's Genja that picks that one up. It's a four for two. Can Danny escape from this? He gets torn to Flashes towards the back to Genja. But he goes it's down, ace. it's a triple kill, and it's ace! Yeah, definitely. If you look down the kills he wants, again, that actually one works. not. Alex there, getting in, that's what he was aiming to do last time. 100 to 0. This time it works out very, very nicely. It's a long time, they must feel that something like this is going to be happening, but they're not really in a position to challenge for that whatsoever. We see both Imp and Mata going back. Looper here between mid and the uh, middle lane there is Danny. Is he going to go down from this one? He is absolutely destroyed. Stan United comes in. Imp is down to less than half HP. He needs to stay alive here, but he's not going to stay alive. Darian will take him out. Get the Looper flash in the middle. Of, there is Genja flashing in. He's going to go now on towards Mata. Surely be able to finish him off from this one as well. He's close to getting away. Roots him underneath. Slide victory for Gambit. They never let Ozone back in and there is the surrender.